So this morning, I had a pretty interesting wake up call. So I set my alarm for nine, and as I woke up, my bed was trembling a little bit. And I thought it was Lewis, who was probably shaking his leg or something. So I asked him, Bro, why is my bed shaking? And then Lewis was like, What did you say? I don't even know what you said. No, I just said. I did do shit and oh, okay, nothing okay. is shaking okay, at okay, all. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so I thought, okay, it just might be me feeling weird stuff. So we continue sleeping for like another hour, woke up at 10. And I just read the news that there is an earthquake this morning at 8.59. Here the news reads, magnitude 4.8 earthquake strokes Tokyo and Kanagawa area. <sighs> So that's why my bed was shaking. I never felt anything. Even in the quarantine hotel. No, no, I didn't feel anything in the quarantine hotel at all. But I also didn't feel anything. I wonder how which magnitude is needed that I feel something. <laughs> I don't Bro know. is unshakable. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first time I've ever felt an earthquake. Really? Yeah, this is the first time I felt it. Well, if it was, because... Because it just felt like I was bobbing up and down. There was just one, like, kind of thing. But then the rest is just sort of, like, a very light vibration where it really feel like if someone is shaking their leg on the bed next to you, <laughs> that's the exact same sensation that you saw. It. Okay, yeah, probably... It's probably Lewis. He's probably jerking off or something. <laughs> <laughs> so that was an earthquake. And I was just like, oh... So it was an earthquake this morning, it's not Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but nothing happened, you know? <clears throat> Yeah, nothing happened. Nothing serious happened. Yeah, nothing happened, serious so. happened. It was literally a 5 to 10 second uh, tremble. There was just one, like, jolt that probably uh, woke me up. But then that was it, so... Nothing really too serious We're in uh, Hakone right now, uh, which is around the area where the earthquake happened so yeah now i know what woke me up this morning and it wasn't lewis that's always good to know. it's never me i'm always innocent so this morning i had a pretty interesting wake-up call and i found out that it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> Today's not going to be a very planned day. I just plan to go out, take some thumbnails. Louis wants to go shopping in Atami to go visit a couple of attraction spots. He's in the sorry, oh, sorry I didn't see I you, didn't bro. See you, bro. So yeah, today is pretty un pretty much unplanned, but we're just gonna send it like Sendai as usual. Cold starts on this HKS exhaust never gets over. And it just like for real it just feels much better. You mean it's it's really maybe one of the nicest things I, I implemented in my lifestyle. It sounds so cringe. <laughs> in my lifestyle. <laughs> lifestyle vlogger makes <laughs> someone sushi! Sorry. Um so, I don't know what this car has, but I know it has a turbo. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Just look at where the spoiler is located. <laughs> I love how it just writes turbo. Turbo is such a cool word, actually. Is that a Mitsubishi? No idea. It yeah. looks like it. It gives me Mitsubishi vibes. Like, like it gives me Daihatsu vibes. Even smaller, disgusting. Thanks, D. Um.
We're now at a shrine near Mount Fuji. I always love this shrine. I've been here on and off three to four times. I'm on a very special mission to buy an Omamori, which is a charm or an amulet, like the ones I have on my bag. But it's not for me. It's for a very special friend. It's already 5 p.m. right now and the sky is already darkening, which is very, very depressing. There are many things that I want to film, but because of how early the sun decides to say bye-bye, sometimes we couldn't film as much as, well, so a lot of times I couldn't film as much as I wanted. So, instead of filming, we thought it would be a good idea to go and grab an early dinner instead! A couple of videos ago, we tried to go to a restaurant called Sawayaka, but the queue is too long, too long for lunch to happen for so us. So what would a logical human being do? <laughs> Try again! <laughs> yeah, so now we're trying to give Sawayaka a second chance, uh, but a different Sawayaka this time, this time is the one in Gotemba. And fingers crossed that we get to have dinner because I haven't had a proper meal today yet, except for some 7 Eleven chicken. You're so poor, such a poor boy. I'm supposed to, <laughs> I'm supposed to maintain slash gain weight. Lewis here is supposed to be on a diet, so I don't know what you mean with, with is supposed to. You mean like he's probably executing his dieting plans, right? I'm executing my dining plans before my bulking has finished. <laughs> so, I'm always planning ahead, guys. I'm always planning ahead. My prediction is... We need to queue. But... But... Just 20 minutes. That's my prediction. Uh, safe bet? I would say 30 minutes. I think 20 minutes is too optimistic. You can never be too optimistic. It's 5 p.m. on a Monday. When we reach there, it's 5.30. No, it's... Today is Monday? Mm, yeah... Oh yeah, yep. today is Monday. No wonder there's no one here. Imagine being a YouTuber not knowing which day it is. Ah! Do you know, like, ever since I graduated... Actually, no. Ever since university, I completely lost track of what day is it in the week. Also, when you're on vacation for two weeks or something, why would you know which day it is? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. You only need to know when you're arriving and when you're leaving. The yeah. rest is just freestyle. Right? So there's no point knowing whether it's a Monday or a Thursday, because it doesn't matter. But, okay, there's one exception if you follow sports. Uh, okay. Then you might need to know for the games, but otherwise there's no valid reason at all. After much of wait, an hour to be exact, we finally have a chance to eat at Sawayaka. Louis has been been here a couple times already. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. Looking forward to dinner. I haven't had anything for the whole day. Uh, we've been running around, getting shots, filming. Dinner well deserved. So, this is my second time. <laughs> mm. 
No, what a word. And what's what's your thoughts on dinner? Holy shit. Holy shit. It was so packed, guys. You can't imagine. It was so crooked. What a meal. Like, the, the, the meat was already very, very nice. Mm -hmm. In Europe, you could get it. But in Japan, it's really top-notch. Because it's different category from Wagyu. But, like, for this kind of hamburger, it was definitely the best ever. Even the vegetables were very juicy and nice. Just everything was on point. Not only the meat. And the dessert was beyond oh, everything. The dessert. Like, for real... It was just a simple chocolate parfait or something, 600 yen, so like, I don't know, 3 4 dollars. But it was maybe the best one I ever had in a restaurant. It was super complex taste, you always had everything everywhere. All the elements, not only at the top but also at the bottom. Professional dessert reviewer, so if he said the dessert is good... Because I'm a proper chunker. 99% is probably good. So this is the restaurant, Sawayaka. For real overall rating in Japan. 9.5 out of 10. Yeah, and also because Holy crook. for this restaurant, you can only find it in Shizuoka. If you want to eat here, you definitely have to come early because the queue, like even 6.30, if you come at 6, you have to queue for at least an hour to get in. And oh. it's like that throughout the day. So it's not like there is a non-peak hour for this restaurant. And, but where, where do they have it? Like Shizuoka Prefecture, but and here? Is, this is Shizuoka. Is it still Shizuoka? Is it not, not no, Kanagawa? No, no, no. no, no, it's still it's still in Oh Shizuoka. then Gotemba's really like at the border then. Oh yeah yeah. Yeah she's okay, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Highly recommend Sawayaka. If you come, it's only in Shizuoka, it's not like you can find it everywhere in Japan. And if you come, please come early and expect at least an hour wait, no matter what time you come. And then don't you... wear something that you oh, don't wear like... something that's <laughs> light in color. So no, no, and for the smell bro, did you sweat? It was disgusting. Yeah, don't wear something light in color and it will smell after you eat. Because the meat itself, the teppanyaki, which is the grill, and also the onion sauce, it does smell a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit.